As you can see the uh, headstock and tailstock don't line up perfectly and today I'm going to try and fix this. I believe that uh, someone at some point in time cut a uh, Morse taper too into this uh, tailstock quill and he or she messed up slightly. There's uh, a couple of reasons why I think this quill has been uh, tampered with. All tools don't sit deep enough and hardly any uh, will auto eject when uh, turning back the tailstock. Um, but the more important reason is inside the quill there is a um, and it's probably hard to catch on camera but there is a ridge inside here that's offset to one side and that's a clear indication that the uh, that the taper has been cut at a slight angle and there's another reason why I think this uh, quill has been tampered with I have a uh, another lathe that is uh, similar to this one the quill is a bit uh, thinner but uh, it has the same issues so the uh, MT2 uh, taper isn't long enough and uh, well the finish on the, on, the, on the taper is terrible so that also looks like a uh, home job uh, gone wrong well I'm already running into problems first off the keyway I can't get it out and second the uh, quill doesn't fit the throat of the chuck so I think I will need to use my uh, steady rest. And I never used a steady rest before. I guess uh, there's a first time for everything. It'll probably be a nightmare to uh, indicate. Well, I got it running pretty through. But look what happens when I uh, move the indicator to the other end. That's not acceptable. This is uh, very hard to set up and I'm getting the impression that this uh, chuck is uh, is bending the workpiece or turning the workpiece to one side a bit because I, I need to um, tighten these two up quite a bit to uh, get this uh, into alignment. Well, I'm switching to uh, Plan B, and uh, Plan B is uh, trying to hand ream the taper using this machine reamer. See if I can improve things using plenty of oil. Pushing it in with the tail stuck a bit. Here we go. Pushing it in a bit further. There's already uh, grindings, shavings, chips coming out there. Well, and I only moved in the tailstock maybe five times. Take it out. Huh. Most of it was cut on this side. There's very little in the other grooves. The surface inside the quill looks a lot better now, so the uh, cheap uh, Chinese uh, reamer did a decent job. So here we go.
it isn't worse but it also isn't right well I was going to uh, do some uh, machine reaming on this old lathe but uh, I realized that I don't have a, uh, a Morse Taper 3 to Morse Taper 2 adapter so instead of uh, indicating the uh, quill back on the uh, Chinese lathe I'm now uh, reaming it uh, directly in place which is probably better anyway This works so much easier than on the cheap Chinese lathe. No uh, carriage in the way. So I think I almost moved the uh, uh, tail sock forward or the uh, quill forward. One revolution of the uh, of the handle here. No idea how much that is, but I'm pretty sure it's not enough. Only a few bits of grinding coming out. So I'm gonna clean it up now and then I'm gonna test again. I just noticed that how nicely the uh, tang of the reamer lines up with that center. I don't see if any movement of the uh, reamer in any direction when it's uh, pushed on the, onto the pointy bit. Looks promising. And the bloody thing is stuck in there. It turns easy enough but... Ah, there it is. And I don't think uh, you're supposed to uh, uh, run this thing in the uh, opposite direction. Uh, the chips will get underneath the uh, cutting edges and uh, damage the uh, reamer. Alright, here we go again. Another test. I think I should fix it. Keep everything the same. All right. You can see it's already sitting in a little deeper. I would say that's a bit better. Get back. Yeah, that's definitely better. It's not perfect. But... Now let's see if it will auto eject. wasn't necessary. <laughs> Lovely. I like it. I studied the inside of the quill again and I can still see a, a, um, a raised edge on the... well not all the way around but uh, from here to here and that is exactly how deep the uh, uh, reamer was cutting so the uh, front of the reamer um, was digging into the metal like a drill so it is clearly not cutting on center and the only uh, explanation I can uh, think of is uh, if the uh, bed was worn enough so that uh, the tailstock was uh, sitting a little lower than uh, original well that's the best 
explanation I can think of. I might um, drill out the quill a bit so that the uh, front of the uh, um, reamer isn't digging into the metal anymore. Well, I took a few measurements and none of these uh, tapered uh, tools are um, long enough to reach the, uh, the edge inside of the quill, so I'll leave it like this for now. So, I think it's time to do a test. I don't know how good this uh, drill chuck is. It came uh, with the lathe and it was pretty well drusted. It already broke loose. That's not good. Yeah, that's better. A bit of oil for the headstock bearings. Because I still haven't finished my oilers. Um, let's see how this goes. Looks like it moved, but I'm not sure. I'm staring at the camera screen. A lot of pressure is needed. This doesn't feel uh, normal. Maybe the uh, drill bit is dull. Or maybe this is very hard material. I don't know. The amount of resistance in the uh, uh, tailstock handle is uh, pretty big. Maybe it needs some oil. Oh, it feels better. Yeah. It just needed some oil. Well, the center drill didn't break, so I'm calling this a success. A win. So uh, while I was in the uh, winning mood, I also did some work on the uh, Smurf lathe tailstock or the old carter. The quill on this tailstock is about uh, three millimeters thinner than the other one, and in fact, the whole casting is thinner, lighter, but it fits the uh, same ways and it has the uh, same center height so uh, it should line up. Now I didn't cut the taper as uh, deep as the other one because of the uh, thinner tailstock but I got lucky it is already ejecting so I'll leave it like this It's uh, it's not perfect. It's being pushed a bit that way, but I think this is because I managed to damage the uh, point on this uh, dead center. At least it's a hell of a lot better than uh, it was before. So I'm calling this another win. This is turning out to be a good day. It was a lot more work to uh, to fix this uh, quill. I needed to bore it out because the internal diameter wasn't big enough to fit uh, more stable two tanks. And then I used the uh, the uh, top slide or the cross slide to um, bore out the taper, and then I uh, reamed it um, because of the thickness no um, uh, steady rest was needed. Alright, that's it for me.
I'm gonna watch some telly. Whoa.